team member, Danny Cam. All right. In the blue corner, we have Hian Lee, 120 pounds, three-time U.S. Olympic team member, world championship bronze medalist, Hian Lee. Yes, baby. And we on fire. Let's get it on. This should be a good match here. Danny Kim in the red, Hyun Lee in the blue. And Kim had a tough go last year. And red, Hyun Lee was blue. a winner. It's up. Actually, Danny Kim hey, is the two-time, also current national champion in his weight division. And the thing with Danny Kim is he grew up watching Hyun Lee. It's a little age difference, but he grew up. Hyun Lee was the superstar back then. And now Hyun has made the move into the pro TKD, and Danny's following him along. He's always wanted to compete against him. He Hyun got his wish a, tonight. Absolutely. You're going to see some fit. Hyun Lee, not only is he an incredible technician, but he's a showman, and he will play to the crowd. Danny also wants to show that he can hang with the best. And what's hanging in our lap? Danny coming from Hawaii. Hyun coming from San Diego, California. Hyun going again for the back spinning kick and barely missing. Danny's going to have to be a little bit more careful. If he keeps charging in like that, Hyun might. You can see Hyun smiling. He loves this. He loves to fight. Danny Kim tends to be more of a technician. Hyun Lee just throws his entire arsenal at you at once. Strategy, does he use a lot? Hyun Lee doesn't use much strategy at all, no. He just kind of goes. He'll kick. If you tell him to kick for nine for three minutes, he'll kick for three minutes. And 90 second games are right up his alley. Danny Kim. Perhaps maybe a little bit intimidated also by the legend, Hyun Lee, the legend. Danny making his own legend at this time on, at the U.S. Nationals and the Olympic team trials. Danny, gonna go, Danny will go for the team in 2000 in Sydney. And this has to be one of the favorites. He's incredibly skilled. Hyun Lee, a bronze medalist at the World Championships in 1993. Just an incredible fighter with an incredible amount of heart. How'd you score that uh, first round? That's going to be tough. None of the fancy kicks. I'm going to call. I have to go for one. I it's about to be about 43 Hyun Lee. He looks a little dazed. He does. He does. It looks like he's blacking out. Uh, that's what he's told to his coach, Roland Ferrer. He's blacking out a little bit. That would be a great disappointment. This is a tremendous match. This does not Dan hold well. No, Danny was very excited yesterday at the press conference, demonstrating, making the front page of the newspapers. A lot of people came out to see him. After the first round, red, six points, blue, five points. Six to five, Danny Kim. And boy, I tell you what, he's trying to gather himself. And let's see if he's got anything. I, I don't think he's going to come out. He's not. He's, he's not going to do it. Took a six-five lead. As soon as he sat down. Uh, I think that's going to be it. I think it's going to be it. Danny can't even stand up, let alone get in the ring with a competitor like Hyun Lee. One minute injury. Injury break. So you get an injury break of one minute. Actually, there's some oxygen in the one back. Minute. We should get him some oxygen. One minute injury break. <laughs> Referee Han Lee, a little play on words there with the injury break. And he's trying to collect himself a little bit. It looks like he's going to try. I still don't think he's got, I don't think he's there 100%. I think he looks like he's about 60 or 70%. That woozy. Well, he needs to be 100% against Hyun Lee as well. No doubt about Hyun it. Lee, you can see he is cagey and he is explosive. He's explosive as they come. Good word, explosive, for, to describe uh, Hyun Lee. And he'll come off with anything. He doesn't necessarily keep himself to the basics. He really enjoys the fancy technique. He really enjoys pro TKD style with the scoring system of higher points for the more advanced techniques. Boy, I tell you what, Danny Lee's going to show me something if he can recover from this, but it, he does not look. Like he's ready to be in this high intensity match. He's we'll see. Two. Round two. Let's see what he's got for round two. He's up six to five. 
and you know Hyun Lee's going to come right after him, knowing that he's a, he's, he's well he and he was blacking out. As well he should. Hyun trying to push him off, which would be an immediate five-point deficit for Danny. Danny smartly getting on the other side of the ring, staying away from the front of the stage. Hyun trying to draw. Danny's also known as a counterfighter. Hyun's trying to draw his attack, his counterattack out, which is some of the first strategy we've ever seen from him. That's going to be a point, not only the point, but it also hurts. You get kicked in the butt like that with a cut kick, chopped his momentum, chopped his spin, takes all the technique in the offense right away. Oh, Danny! That's going to be a three-point shot right to the face. Huge Whoa. turnaround for Danny Kim, who's out basically out on his feet after the first round. That's a big point. Honestly, I didn't think he was going to answer the round, answer the bell. Same here. He comes in with an act kick to the face of Hyun Lee. Let's see, Hyun's going to turn it up a little now because that's going to put the points lead right back in favor of Danny. Danny Kim, Japan Open, gold medalist, four-time MVP. Both of them going for the back spinning kick, looking for a knockout, a big five-point score on that one. And Hyun Lee's got to be feeling the pressure now. He thought he was going to have an easy time with Danny after that display of lightheadedness. Final four seconds, round two. Good kick to the body by Danny Lee, and I tell you what, that's an outstanding turnaround by by Danny Kim, rather. Outstanding comeback. After he was out on his feet between the, between the first and second rounds. Amazing, and those body shots that he just landed at the end of round two, that's going to take a little bit out of Hyun Lee. Danny Kim's confidence has to be building now. He's going to have a to my belief, he's going to maintain the points lead. Hyun Lee has not done anything outstanding that's going to give him a three or five point technique in round two. Roland Ferrer telling Danny, we're going to win. We're going to win trying to build the confidence in his player. Day Sun Lee coaching Hyun Lee. Right, right. So check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Telling him to check to draw out the Panachagi. You were talking points. about Hyun Lee not being much of a strategist. Blue. Six what points. What should he come up with uh, here? And especially now that he's down 14 to 6. What kind of what do you look for from him in this Blue. third round? I look for him to go all out. I look for him to throw his entire right. arsenal at That's Danny. Good. He's going to have that 90 seconds to make up eight points, which is very possible. A couple of spinning kicks, a couple of turning kicks to the body, something to the head, and it's a new ball game. Something just like that. But if he waits for Danny to attack, Danny with a sim simulation of a flying sidekick there. Strong shot between the legs. Strong. Kick low. Warning. Skip that. Never high, okay? It's actually not just the fact that Hyun has to take some time out, but the time is clicking off the clock. So they stop the clock. How much time does he get to? Does he get time to recover here? Actually, they haven't stopped the clock. No, they, they did. It was at so one twelve. Yeah, he usually gets a minute for something like that, but they had let a sufficient amount of time run off the clock. Let about six, seven seconds run off. Yep. Hyun's going to have to attack right now. He's, he can't sit back. Danny's sitting on what they call a pot attack, which is a defensive kick in the roundhouse kick version. It just means he's going to move back and he's going to attack Hyun with that low roundhouse kick to the body and just sit on his points lead. Hyun's the one that has the pressure. He's the one that's got to make up the points. Danny Kim coming into this round up 14 to 6. This would be a big win and a back kick to the body. Hyun scored a roundhouse kick there, but Danny scored a back kick just before that. That's a he lost. Hyun lost two points. That's a three to one advantage in Danny Kim's favor. This would be a huge win for Danny. Let's go, Blue. Let's After go. failing to medal at the Pan Am Three Championships, a huge win for Danny. Kim. Last 22 seconds, third and final round. Danny knows he's got this one in the bag. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Hyun Lee wanting to get Tense. right back to the action. That's 10 seconds. And this looks like, unless something drastic happens in five seconds, it looks like a win for Danny Kim over Hyun Lee. Hello. Danny Kim falling down to the mat again, having a hard time breathing. His coach Roland Ferrer helping him get to the center of the ring. Good Good match. Up, the traditional it's bowing. Bowing is a sign of respect in Taekwondo. 
not only to each other, but to the wonderful fans here at the Wheeler Opera House in Aspen. Danny Kim raising his hands in victory as if he's anticipating the decision in his favor. I think he is on the right track. Now the question comes in, how hard did Hyun Lee train for this? We'll have to see. Say what? Red, final score, red, 17. Blue, 11. No surprise there, Danny Kim. And say what, an extra salute to Danny Kim for coming back after being pretty much out on his feet in that first round. I tell you, I thought he was done. I thought he was done. Now the coaches, Roland Ferrer and Hyun Lee, old friends, giving each other a big hug after that. They were teammates, actually, in the late 80s. Roland Ferrer himself.